Hi guys, my name is Rincia Escat, grade 5. Today, I will talk about wood, metal, and bamboo products. What is wood? Wood comes from trees. Many advocates of the environment are against the cutting of trees because it takes years to grow them. They are encouraging everybody to plant trees for the environment and our consumption. Our homes, furniture, and other paper products are made out of trees. What are the kinds of wood? First, hardwoods. Hardwoods are used for buildings, houses, and furniture. Some hardwoods in the Philippines are molave, yakal, ipil, usually used as structural frames for houses, and nara, known for its natural color and strength. Second is softwoods. Softwoods come from year-round green trees, like pine trees. Varieties of softwoods are apitong, tangile, and lawan, known as Philippine mahogany. Softwoods are renowned for their high resistance to decay and excellent quality. The wood from all kinds of pine are the same in terms of appearance. Third is plywood. Plywoods are made from different kinds of wood. These are cut into fine sheets and bonded together. There are plywood that are used for interior of buildings and plywood for exterior of buildings. Let's talk about metal. Metal is a very functional material for making crafts. It is also one of nature's common elements. Some common types of metal used are brass, copper, iron, and aluminum. The types of metal. First, ferrous metals are metals that have iron content. Examples of ferrous metals are iron and steel. Second, Non-ferrous metals are metals that do not have iron content. Examples of non-ferrous metals are aluminum, brass, copper, gold, silver, and platinum. Properties of metal First, hardness allows a metal to resist separation. The harder the metal, the better because it does not change its shape. Second, Malleability allows a metal to be hammered and rolled so that it can be shaped into many figures and form. Third, elasticity is the property of metals that allows them to return to their original shape when they are bent. The last one is, fusibility is the property that allows metal to melt like liquids easily. How about bamboo? Bamboo is a gift from nature because of its excellent growth rate and amazing qualities. It is one of the most sought after materials especially in tropical countries. A bamboo is an evergreen plant belonging to the true grass family. It is known to be one of the fastest growing plants in the world. All bamboos have the potential to grow to full height and belt after several months. The best age to cut a bamboo is about a year or more. The uses of bamboo First, bamboos are used as housing materials and also in making furniture. Second, bamboo shoots are edible and are used in many Asian dishes. Examples include soups and vegetable dishes like fresh lumpia. Third, bamboos are sometimes used to hold up simple suspension bridges by sleep splitting them. Fourth, bamboos are used to make musical instruments like wind and percussion instruments. Fifth, bamboo fibers can be made into fabric because of their softness, strength, absorbency, and antimicrobial quality. Sixth, bamboos are used as herbal medicine for treating infections and for healing. Preparation of bamboo Cutting Cutting should be done with the right techniques and skills. Splitting Splitting is cutting the bamboo into two. Bleaching Bleaching is a process of extracting the color to dig out the natural appearance of bamboo. There are two ways to bleach bamboo. First, 
When process is soaking the bamboo in water and caustic soda. Second, reprocess. Reprocess is heating the bamboo over flaming charcoal. Preparing tools and equipment for wood, metal, and bamboo craft projects. Tools and equipment for wood craft projects. First, Ruler is used for measuring and as a straight edge or guide for drawing straight lines. Second, compass is used to draw circles of different sizes. A square is used to measure edges, angles, and corners. Fourth, Hansa is the oldest and frequently used woodworking tool. The different types of Hansa are the crosscut saw. Crosscut saw is used to cut across the grain of wood. The rip saw. Rip saw is used for cutting wood in the direction of the grain. Capping saw. Capping saw has a wooden handle and is used to saw curves in thin wood. The back saw. Back saw ha has a heavy stripe of metal paste along its back and small teeth that produce a smoothly sawed and accurately cut surface. And the last is compass saw. Compass saw has a long thin blade with teeth like those of a crosscut saw. It can also be used to cut curves. Fifth, plane is used to make wood smooth and even. Sixth, wood chisel. Wood chisel is a hand tool used for chipping wood, cutting flat pieces from wood, a smoothing a curved board that has a flat edge. This has a flat cutting edge. Seventh, gouge has a curved cutting edge and is used to make inside cuts on wooden trays, bowls, and other curved objects. Eighth, wood file is a steel tool used to smoothen and shape wood. And the last is auger bit is a tool used to bore holes in wood. Tools and equipment for metal projects. First, ruler is a tool used to measure metal parts and objects. Second, scratch all is a tool used to mark a metal because it leaves a permanent and more accurate mark than a pencil. Third, center punch is a tool that marks a spot on the metal so that a drill will start on it properly. Fourth, Ball pin hammer is a type of hammer that has two ends. One end of the head is rounded and the other end is flat. This is used to strike and shape metal material. Fifth, Seacam is a tool used to hold materials to a drill press table. Sixth, pliers is a tool used for holding small objects. Seventh, hacksaw is a tool with a handle, a blade, and a frame that adjusts for its different blade length. This is used to cut steel and other metal. Eight, metal file is a steel wool with many hard teeth that remove small chips of metal called filling. Nine, portable electric drill is used to cut a hole in metal for screws or bolts. Ten, grinder is a tool used to smoothen and shape metals and to sharpen tools. 11. Bolts is a type of fastener that pieces metal together using a knot and a washer. The shape of its head are either square or a hexagon. 12. Screws is a type of fastener that is inserted into the threaded hole of the thicker metal. If the threaded hole is not used, a knot is used to clamp the pieces together. 13. Rivet is a type of fastener that pieces metal together permanently. Tools and equipment for bamboo projects. First, bamboo saw is a special type of saw with a locking edge survival scabbard. This tool is used to cut groove and for maintenance purposes. Second, bamboo knife is a tool that has one serrated side and is used for dividing the bamboo. Third, bamboo drill bit is a tool used to bore or drive a hole on the bamboo. Fourth, Bamboo splitter is a tool used to split bamboo. The following reminders will help protect you when you do wood, metal, and bamboo craft projects. First, wear proper clothing, avoid long sleeves, expose shirt tails, ties, or any loose clothing that can catch in tools, 
Wear heavy leather shoes rather than cloth shoes that provide no protection from falling objects. Second, keep tools clean and in good condition. Keep all tool handles free of oil or moisture, edges sharp, handles tight, and drill bits properly installed. Third, keep tools in their proper place when not in use and keep sharp edges turned away from you. Fourth, provide proper grounding of power tools especially when you are working in damp areas. Fifth, turn off power tools before laying them down or replacing any part. Sixth, wear safety goggles when grinding stone or metal and when using any power tool. And the last is, Work in a well-ventilated room. This is Rienzi Escat, Grade 5. Happy homeschooling!